I'm Sophie and I'm a sonographer and a costume illustrator which means I design sets, costumes and puppets for theatre and I'm just going to take you through a week as a freelance sonographer which can involve pretty much anything from model making to making puppets to designing costumes to even making tiny scale furniture. It's pretty varied so let's see what it brings. So first I'll be talking to you about my Arts Council England supported project, Pink Pippers of Portland. And I have some designs so I'll be developing these. A lot of the time in low budget theatre you're working with what you already have. I like to get things on a mannequin first off, just to play with colour and shape and see what's working. It's a children's theatre production so I want everything to be bright and colourful and it's set by the sea so I want a nautical theme. Drawing up some of the costumes from the Pink Pippers of Portland today so I'm just going to take you through my process of one of the illustrations. I always start with the mood board just to capture the feel of the character I'm trying to illustrate and I'll be developing the little sailor top outfit that I was looking at earlier. I draw all of my designs in Photoshop digitally because it gives you a really nice saturated colour. Today I'm working on my set design for Diverse City's youth group Extraordinary Bodies Young Artists and their new show Till We Win. When you're designing a set for theatre you have to make a 1 to 25 scaled down model of that set. It's a great tool to present to the company and the director and it helps you figure out the mechanics of what you're going to build. So here's the finished model at 1 to 10 scale with all its little working parts and I've primed it in white paint so it's ready for me to go and paint up now. And here it is all painted up, which means I can now go and put some props on it. So here's the final model with all the props added and the paint job done. It's always fun to see how much you can make out of just bits of mount board really. So now I've got to print out a scale costume design to go beside it, just to give a sense of how big this will be.
So I hope you enjoyed this insight into a week into the life of a sonographer, what a freelance artist might get up to. I am lucky enough that my job's quite flexible and I can work from home and move across projects throughout the week. So keeps it interesting. And thanks for watching.